Hello people, it's me, Ginny Metherill, fourth generation witch and practicer of traditional magic or the old ways. I've recently noticed that quite a lot of the community on my channel are in the broom closet and this upsets me somewhat as I was in the broom closet for many years and I don't blame them because coming out can be difficult and quite scary. So I thought that today's video we would look at five secret witchcraft hacks that you can do every single day and nobody will ever, ever know. It was difficult for me to come out of the broom cupboard and quite scary. I was labelled by varying people a perversion, evil, mad and insane. And the worst for me, the one that I found the most difficult, was that I was conning people, using people who are gullible. So that's you, YouTube. You know, apparently you're gullible and I'm conning you for my own personal gain. If I was doing this for monetary reasons, then I would have given up by now because I haven't earned any. And not very much anyway, you know, maybe enough to buy me a cup of tea. It's nice to be able to make a living from something you're passionate about. And yes, I am trying to do that, but is that bad? It's a bit like I was setting up some sort of cult, which um, I'm very happy to set up a cult. Come and join me, cult of Ginny Metherill. Personally, I think that you're quite intelligent and well able to make up your own minds. Hence the reason why I'm making this video, because it is difficult and scary and you might not be able to come out of your broom closet. And so I wanted to show you how you could incorporate witchcraft into your every day and nobody would ever know. So number one, of course, is your Book of Shadows. My Book of Shadows is actually a witchy journal, so it just reads like a diary, but it's filled with spells and thoughts, spirit work, shadow work, all sorts of other things that you wouldn't normally find in a diary. It does provide great knowledge for me because I can look back on it in the past, see what I wrote and then, you know, think, well, did that come true? And do you know what? Yes, it does. It is one of the first things I do in the morning is I get up and I will write maybe a dream down that I've had or any thoughts from the previous day's work because sometimes I need to sleep on issues. The second thing I like to do is affirmations and intentions. Now this is basic spellcraft and this is really easily done through food. There is nothing nicer than giving, say, a large slice of bread and jam and butter to somebody that you love with that love and intention in that bread and butter. There is nothing nicer than producing a plate of food and giving it to somebody that you love and you've stirred in your intentions and affirmations. I often find that witches are incredibly natural cooks. I think it's all that stirring of cauldrons that they used to do in the olden days. It is such an easy way to mix your witchcraft into your life after all. And kitchen witchery is something that most of us do all the time and sometimes without even realising it. Think of that birthday cake when you make that special celebration for someone that you love. They put the candles, make a wish and blow it out. <laughs> Pure witchcraft, wonderful. The third thing is glamour magic. You may have heard this, glamour magic is simply that magic that changes your look. You're not physically changing your look, but you are changing the way you are seen by another person. Now this is something I probably do every time I put on my makeup. When I put on some lip gloss, I made my lips kissable. Perfect. And that is such an easy way of doing glamour magic. Before you put your makeup on, for example, you can cast a circle, stand in the circle and say, let all this makeup I'm putting on help me look as if I am a strong, confident woman and become a strong, confident woman. So you can put a spell on your lipstick. And what I mean by that is that you can hold it in your hands and push your intention into it so that every time you put your lipstick on, you are putting on 
the intention for you to be beautiful, kissable, lovely to others. And then, as you reapply, you become so. That's a nice easy spell, and I like doing that quite often. Have you noticed my earrings? They're very beautiful, aren't they? Rock crystal and silver. I bought them because I like them. However, I found that they actually help me. This is my pendulum. Slightly similar, don't you think? And it is because I'm wearing these earrings, my pendulum and I can pick up each other's vibes a lot quicker. They sort of amplify the energy that I'm using. So my earrings are pure witchcraft. Now I discovered this completely by chance for these particular earrings, but I've been wearing an amethyst ring for many years now. And this is a healing and magical grounding stone. Gives me all of those substances every time I put it on. Now this of course, secret witchcraft. Who's gonna know that my earrings amplify my pendulum when I use it. My amethyst ring gives me a greater grounding in my life on a daily basis when I put it in. This is top class secret witchcraft. And finally, secret witchcraft hack number five is presents and gifts. I mentioned in my February almanac video that hyacinths gave great respite to those who put them in their bedroom. They take away all negative energy. Now a hyacinth makes a lovely gift. Uh, I'll put the video up here for you so you can check out what I say about hyacinths. But this is such an easy way to spread your witchcraft to other people. And you can put all sorts of wonderful intentions and spells into this. I ask you to open your mind, to accept me as who I am. You can say if you're giving a spell to your mum who you haven't told that you're a witch bunch of primroses which you have picked and given to a loved one. Give them the power to keep away unwanted visitors. Well that's what they say. I'm never sure if that one's true but what it does do is give them your love and intention so that they do not know that you are a secret witch. Of course, it's always better to be open and honest and come out. I do feel sorry for witches. You know, throughout our history, we have been burnt at the stake. I mean, that's not great, is it? So I can completely understand why coming out as a witch is scary and difficult. However, hopefully, use your daily witchcraft hacks and this will set you on the right path. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up, a subscribe, I've got new info on Patreon at the moment about some behind the scenes activity, so do have a look and I will see you in my next video.